Hello. Today we're going to look at the new Relic NetFlow UI. This visualization allows you to see what systems on the network are consuming your bandwidth, as well as seeing the ports and protocols being used. To get there, start out at the home page and go to the All Capabilities tab on the left. Look for the Network widget. You might want to pin this to the navbar for future access. If you haven't already set up your flow collector, then it'll prompt you with the guided install process to deploy the container and start collecting flows from your network devices. I already have flow data coming into my account, so I can go directly to the Network Flows tab on the left. On this page, you'll be presented with a Sankey diagram showing the summary of traffic flowing around your account. Below that, we have a set of time series charts to help us see changes in volume over time. And if you scroll down a little further, you have a table that shows the summary of all the conversations broken out by their source, destination, protocol, and application. It also gives us the total volume of bytes and packets during the time period shown on the time picker in the top right. Below the time picker on the right hand side, we have a tile that highlights any changes in the pattern of the attributes coming into the flow data. This tile compares the current time span to a previous one. Initially, it will default to showing you the last 30 minutes compared to the previous hour, but you can use the drop down to do things like comparing it against the same time yesterday or the previous week. To explain about what we're seeing with the diagram, starting from the left hand side, we have the source IP address of the traffic. This is the IP where the packet originated from. The next column is showing the name of the network device that collected the flow data. Typically, this would be a firewall or a router near the edge of your network. The next column shows the standard application names associated with the ports seen in the flows, such as port 80 being tagged with HTTP traffic. And the, finally, the destination IP is on the far right. This is a pretty standard way of looking at this kind of data, but we've made the view very customizable to give you more options. You can add or remove columns, and the fields associated with each column can be swapped out. For example, here I am switching from looking at the data based on individual IP addresses to looking at it broken out by geo regions. If I want to filter the view down to any specific attribute, I can just click the colored box next to it to add it to the filter at the top, or I can manually type filters in similar to other dashboards in New Relic. You can also adjust the number of conversations that are shown up to a limit of 40. Another feature you might notice is that some of the fields will have underlined values. The UI does a lookup against the other entities being monitored by New Relic, and whenever it finds a match, you can click the name and it'll show you the entity summary on the right hand tile. As an example, if the source or destination IP address for this flow matched up to an IP address that was seen on one of the servers where you have the infrastructure agent installed, then that IP would be underlined and you could click it to go to the entity details view. That concludes our quick tour of the new Relic NetFlow UI. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.